What's up, y'all? So, yeah, I um, I received a little package yet again. So you guys know how I like ordering stuff. Uh, but today is a little bit more special though because uh, it's regarding something big though, and uh, I've desperately wanted to uh, to make this happen because uh, we uh, we know how much um, that I've been complaining. If you guys have been following along. On my um, my second channel, Nirvana Covers live stream. If you guys have been following along over there, though, you guys know how much of a problem I've had with the uh, the Mesa Boogie's tubes being out of order, um, and the sound being very dull and uh, dull, especially it's been very bad, and uh, you know just rather bad sounding, having no tone at all or something to it and stuff like that. So. Let's just say that a little package came into the door today, uh, today though. The little pack there was a package that came in. So uh, you guys probably heard me peeping about uh, me buying uh, tubes from my Mesa Boogie and all the other cosmetical things for it. So uh, I have the Mesa to my side at the moment. I'll show you guys what it's gonna look like now. And uh, yeah, the tubes I'll install. Uh, I'll install them by myself. So. They won't be installed in this video, I'll do that by myself, but I'll give you guys a tone once it's, uh... Or should I just say, look out for the live stream, though, because that's the first time where I'm going to use it again. So, I'm just going to say that, uh, uh, I'll show you the package and, um, let's roll into it, right? So, this is a little box, as you guys can see, a little nifty, pretty cool, this, uh, this box, by the way, see? It says, uh, oak, uh, what's that? Oak, oak paper products company incorporations. I think that's what it says. And it says Los Angeles, California. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And this box is a six by six by six box. That's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it's from UPS, of course, the beautiful, uh, transportation. Or, uh. Shipping freight uh, freight company UPS pretty good, and I've got stuff I need to look at later. But I'll do that by myself because uh, private information on packages you guys know. So uh, I would just say let's just um, let's just dig into it because uh, that's how that house works though you know. So let's uh, start by uh, by peeling off this. Uh, let's start by cracking this little tape. That's on the front there, you guys can see that. That's the place I'll open it at because I feel that it's the best way to not destroy anything else. So let's redo that. That was rather easy. Click that. Oh yeah. And then... Oh, I don't want to ruin this, but I probably have to. Yeah! Ah! <clears throat> there we go, though. Get it. Look, I gotta say you all. I love getting packages. And by the way, look, fist guards. Yeah, yeah, I got it right, y'all. Finnish sister company, fist guards. I got it right. Finnish. Not, not Swedish. It's Finnish. All right, that, that's enough. That's enough, isn't it? I hope so. Or is it this whole plastic case? Oh, don't cut anything, man. Yeah, there we go. Get it. Cut it down the line. Send it. Oh, 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 don't don't cut too deep though. We don't want to ruin our stuff. Oh, guys, I got it. You guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. Send it. Hell yeah. Let's see what we got, y'all. Hi. <laughs> bubble wrap, y'all. Oh, I love bubble wrap. Fuck, man. This thing is tight, man. I don't even want to destroy these. Anyway, what the fuck did I get? Uh, let me see. So, we got a bunch of shipping wrap, uh, bubble wrap. Buttons. Oh, yeah. We got buttons. We got, uh, this. So, those, yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. You guys want some bubble wrap? I'll show you the guys. The, I'll show you guys the parts, okay? I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, yeah. 
Sí. What's that? Right. So that's uh, one. Oh, 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah. And right, so that's two. Yeah, that fits. That meets the requirements. Hold, hold on there. Just the wrong one. Did I buy the wrong shoes though? Yeah, I think I bought the wrong shoes anyway. I think I did though. I think I got the wrong shoes though, but hey ho, it's what it is. They're too small though. They might work, maybe. I don't know, man. Let me just try real quick though. That's the thing though, because uh, if this don't work, I know I bought the wrong shoe, but if I did, no worries, no hassle. I just have some screws, but that's all right. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I think those are the wrong shoes though. They don't fit. Fuck it anyway, though. <laughs> they won't fit. All right, you know, I miss, I miss about something. That's my fault. That's all right. Hey, oh, I have the other screws, though. It's fine, though, man. You, the thing is, the, listen, guys, the only thing that I'm really missing right in this is actually just screws for the rack mount. It's not screws for the chassis. I wish I got new screws for the chassis, but I didn't. I missed, I missed cut those, so. Hey ho, what happens, happens. You know, we can get new screws anyway, but. That's a little bit of a shame, but. Hey ho, wrong screws, wrong size. So. Yeah. Because these are a lot bigger, though, and I thought they were. Uh, the ones I got are very small, so. A little bit sad. You guys can see. take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. I'll show you guys. Look, I'll document. See? This this is how tiny this thing is. You guys see that? Way too tiny. So, I bought the wrong shoes though. But hey ho, it's what it is. It's it's right, it's okay. But it's hard when you don't have the, the dimensions. That's that's why it's like that's when it becomes hard. It's like when you don't have the correct dimensions and stuff like that because you know, as of I live in Denmark, I live in Euro uh, Euro uh, Europa. I think that's what you call it, uh, EU. Uh, we have uh, millimeter screws, and in America they have inch screws, uh, or like you know eight thirty two by something etc. Um, and um, we don't have that, so for us it's very hard to like. You know, it's hard for us to know exactly what American screw we need. So, uh, but I gotta say it to you all quickly. It's all right, because no worries right now. I just have screws I can't use for anything. But I just gotta say right now, though, guys, this is not a problem, because uh, I know I paid for this, but I gotta say, though, this is not a problem at all because the chassis screws, the screws for the chassis aren't bad. They work and I can easily use them and close the chassis. I just wanted new screws because it would look better. It would look more, you know, cosmetically nice, you know, instead of, uh, yeah, they are definitely wrong though. They're too small though. I can see that. But, you know, guys, it's what it is. So I'll we'll just get new screws with uh, when we're gonna buy the other one for the rack mount. The thing is, when I bought this at Mesa Boogie, right? Take, hear me out, y'all. When I bought this uh, at MesaBoogie.com, uh, I was gonna get screws for the the chassis, and it's no it's no mistake on Mesa's part. Mesa did the perfect part. Mesa provided me with the parts. That I needed. They provided me with everything they needed. Okay, it's not it's not their fault. It's mine. But the thing is, now that I um, 
I have different screws for the chassis, I won't be able to use them. So, these screws really don't, like, they don't, they're not damaged. They work. Like, all of them work. They have okay uh, heads. The heads aren't over screwed, uh, over tightened. And they're great. Problem is, they're rusty. So, they just look a little bit rusty. But that's okay now. I will just buy new screws for the chassis when, um, when I'm gonna get uh, new screws for the rack mount. So, um, that won't be, uh, that won't be bad. But, for now, I cannot use the screws. So, uh, the screws are too little. Which is a shame. But, I expected that. Uh, because, uh, I didn't know dimensions and whatnot. I just went with it. And I tell you what, guys. One advice. One advice that I'd like to give to you. When you buy something that's far away from your country, wherever the fuck you're buying, make sure you get the stuff that you're buying is right. Don't just guess from a picture. That's the worst thing you can do. That's what I did with the chassis screws. I just guessed. I just was like, wait, we agree to my dad this. I, I was like with, with my dad and I said, do we agree that this screw is this? And we, he said, yes, and I bought it. I bought it and it turns out it's not. So I gotta say guys, one advice that Nirvana covers can give you do not trust pictures. You gotta know what the dimensions are. So, I'm a little bit sad about this, but it's not the end of the world. It's okay. Uh, I've I've had worse experiences than this. Like, for example, when I bought my Bartolini 3A, that pickup, the first package I received was a completely different product, y'all. I had to... I had to contact them and say, hey, geezers, this is the wrong stuff. I need some new stuff. So I tell you guys, this is all right. This is nothing. This this is just screws. I just have these now where I, I don't know what to do with them. So I just have them now, which is all right. But it's a bit of a bummer, but it's what happens. So what else we got? Enough of me rambling. We got bubble wrap. That's good. And I will just say huge shout out to Mesa, uh, Mesa Boogie. In uh, California, such a great company. Just gotta say, huge shout out to them. Um, they were very, uh, very, uh, what do you call that? They were very uh, supportive of me. So, you guys see this right here, though. Five new tubes. You guys see this? Hell yeah! So we got. Take a listen to this, to you all. ECC eighty three twelve AX seven. We got one. We got. Two, we got three, we got four, four new 12AX7s, and this one, ECC81, 1287, the same that are in the Mesa, but that's not the important part, take a look at this, you all, what's that, <laughs> we got knobs, <laughs> oh, hell. I gotta see these though, so, this is the same and should be theoretically the same knob. Wait, what? Click it. Wait, I might think I have the... Yo, guys, I've always had the wrong knobs, I think. Because these things... <clears throat> yeah, right. Let me see. Same length? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the same, though. Yeah, yeah, right, right. They're the same. Yeah, yeah. Take a look at this. So... The one on the left right here, though, you guys see, is my original knob. You guys see it? The one on the left, original. One to the right, the new one. Uh, the thing with, the difference is this has a set screw. You guys see it? It has a set screw in it. Now, this thing don't. This thing is just an old regular S-clip thingy. And this thing has a set screw in it. Which is pretty good, because I, I needed these. I only needed two. Because take a look at this. I have two knobs on my Mesa that are broken. Look at this one. See, guys, I'll show you guys. Documented. Well documented. Take a look at this. If I go like that, you guys see that? Oh, hell no. I might as well snap it now, though. But don't do that. But you guys see that? Oh, my God. And then this one is about to form. Like, it's about to get damaged. You guys see that? So, I actually only needed two. But because I couldn't find... These exact knobs that I had before with the set screw now. And they look so much cleaner, man. Dang, they look amazing. Anyway, I'm going to put these on. Make sure they sit tight. Oh, they do, though. 
They work though, you you are. They work. Oh yeah. They function though. Pretty good. Oh yeah, and we got a minus it. Yeah. Go down to go down to zero though. They are though. Good, 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 good. So I gotta say, you all, this is beautiful, though. You, I got, I gotta say, it. this is, this is great. These knobs are gonna work great. Um, I'm gonna get some new ones, and the the reason why I chose to buy eight was because now that I buy two with a set screw, well, they don't work no more. So that's just how it is. The two last knobs, uh, last knobs I've got is this one. You guys can see these two, and uh, these two are known to be. These on the Mesa amp, I'll just plug them off so you guys can see. This is an original uh, output A and B channel knob. And I've got two new of these because this one is very dirty. So I figured why not get some new ones while we're in there, you know. Let me just compare and take a look at these. And I think what I'll do in this video in particular is just show you guys what I've got. And I'll install it uh, by myself because I need to talk with my dad but yeah this is the same exact stuff this is the same exact same exact width stuff like that it's the same it's literally the same it is what it's supposed to be i can see a difference though uh if you look here though the one to the right here i think it is the one with the thicker paint on it you guys see the this one this one right here is the original. Look how small the like lettering are on the, the new one compared to the old one. It's kind of fun to see differences like that. But I'm guessing that it's because uh, I'm replacing this. So it's basically theoretically not original now, but it still has that S clip in there. You guys see, uh, is this the old one? The old one. Take a look on the inside. Same mechanism in there, same S clip. So this thing will just buckle on. And I'll just say, guys, I'll install this by myself. And I will let you guys have a look when uh, when it's uh, when it's time. Because I have the Mesa here. Um, I might put a picture on the screen in this video. Or do it before and after. Or maybe you guys should just be excited for a new video uh, coming up later. You guys should just be excited for that. But I feel like I might actually have had the wrong knobs all this time. And I know why. It's because this amp, guys, I gotta say, this amp might not have been original when I got it, you know? Many of these knobs I see here, they look like they do. But I just think that the, the amp that I received wasn't original. Like, it wasn't original. It was it was geeked out with parts. It, it wasn't original. I think that's what happened with it. Like, a lot of, lot of you know, things from the early days that, like, my amp is old. My amp is, like, from, like, what, 30th of August, like, 1989. So, it's it has had changes since then. I bet that. So, you know, I just say, guys, if you can fix it to a degree where it's uh, acceptable, well, I don't see anything wrong with that. So, um, yeah, I won't talk anymore, though, really. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. It's a little bit of a shame that I got the wrong screws, but we can fix that later. We can just buy some new ones that'll fit, and um, that'll be great. I hope that'll be fine, because those are very small. Just gotta say, they're very small. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys uh, like it. I don't want to reveal the Mesa at the moment. I want to get the Mesa fixed and uh, you guys will be able to have a little uh, check at it uh, when uh, I live stream next, which is Saturday. But now you guys can see what parts I've ordered and uh, what I received. So um, that's mainly the goal of this video. So yeah. Anyway. I don't want to cut this video any longer, though. I don't even want to show you guys the tube because I want these as fresh as possible when I get them. I want to put them in when I install them. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little nifty video and um, be excited for when uh, for when that live stream comes Saturday, though. It's going to be crazy, y'all. 
You guys are gonna be waiting for everything. Captain Crunch, that little geezer, said to me, get live, you should do live at Rio. You should do live in Rio, Nirvana's Rio show. You know what? That's the fucking first thing I'm doing. I'm going to chase that tone when it's ready. And I can, at this moment in time, reveal to you guys that live at Reading is the next show on the live stream. That is Saturday. I'm going to play Nirvana's live at Reading because, believe it or not, I cracked live at Reading. That tone that Kurt had on his guitar or in with his guitar during live at Reading in 1992... October, uh, August 30th, same, same year as my M. I think it was the 31st, I don't know, fuck, around that time. I cracked that guitar tone, so that's what I'm gonna do. But, you guys have to wait and see. I will not spoil anything until then, so, uh, yeah. It's been me, you all, so you, you saw what I got in my package, yeah. I know I got a little bit too small screws, though, they won't fit the even, yeah. We can talk a lot about that, but... And I don't want to spoil anything, so uh, until then, I just want to say uh, bye-bye. And it's been Nirvana Covers, and uh, see you guys another time, so bye-bye.